Hey, yo, what's up, man? Hey, yo, leave this video a like if you've ever been to a live football game, like like a real one, like a college football game or an NFL game. Hey, yo, you already know what it is. Welcome back to Shark Sports, everybody. And yo, let's jump straight into it. Yo, CJ Stroud, he's kind of struggling there at Ohio State. I mean, don't get me wrong. When you go and look at the stats, I mean, it looks like my boy CJ's out there balling. However, losing to Oregon last week did not help CJ Stroud's case out at all. So my Buckeye fans, y'all kind of got this quarterback in that quarterback room who, hey, I mean, he kind of goes by the name of uh, Quinn Ewers. You, you might have heard of him. Do you think he might be seeing some playing time here soon? Today, I want to go back and take a look at Quinn Ewers' high school highlight tape because obviously we only have his junior year tape because he skipped out on his senior year to go straight to uh, go straight to college. And uh, I, I just wanted to see, hey, potentially what kind of quarterback could we be seeing in the very near future for the Buckeyes if CJ Stroud not continues to struggle because I'm not going to say that he's struggling right now, but just if he if he doesn't live up to expectations, Quinn Ewers might be. He might be shaking the boat a little bit out there. So let's jump straight into Quinn Ewers' highlight tape and see what Ohio State's future QB1 is looking like on the field. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, Buckeye fans, let's see what your future QB1's looking like on the field. Hey, yo, I want you guys to comment down below right now. If you had it your way, would you guys want Quinn e Ooh, I'm just like, that's a dot, bro. Like, that's a dot and a laser. Like, look at how far he throws this. Throws this from, like, the 52 to the five just like low and on a rope like that is that's a that's so money honestly i i still i still have really high hopes on cj stroud there, there's times where i think he just gets a little bit too just deer in the headlights there's times where i think he doesn't trust his feet enough God. uh to just kind of escape from pressure sometimes but overall i mean the dude is he, he, he's got it together like like he, he's not a bad quarterback in any sense it's just it doesn't help when you have this who i mean i don't see the this generational talent that everybody sees where it's like he's the next patrick mahomes i think they're just trying to label someone that just for hype's sake um he's a great quarterback don't get me wrong he's a very talented quarterback great arm strength i mean really good quarterback um but yeah i mean it's gonna, it's gonna be tough when you got that guy in your qb room and he's making plays on the second team and he's like he's going out there and balling out i mean if he's on scout team oh like you know he's gonna be making plays against uh, first team d so Hey, we'll, we'll see. I personally think that CJ Stroud will finish off the season as, as the QB one. I don't think they're going to really be challenging that unless unless they lose a, uh, unless they lose a random game in the Big Ten where it like like if they lose to Michigan. Oh, yeah, they, that, that might or Michigan State. I don't know who they play this year, but they, they, they can't they can't if they lose two more games, then he's definitely pulled one more. He he's on the hot seat. And all of my um, more in-tuned uh, Buckeye fans, is there a guy in front of Quinn Ewers? Is it like, is, is he actually QB3? Um, let me know. A little flat, let's go. A little easy touchdown. I mean, just look at, just like, this is, this is such a high level throw for a high schooler to make. I mean, look at where he's throwing this. I mean, first off, the anticipation. He's throwing this in basically into triple coverage. This this corner, he knows, okay, I have to get enough velocity. I have to put enough air on it so that this, this linebacker or corner can't, can't make a play on it. I have to put enough velocity on it so that this, this cornerback, if he does read it, which he is reading, he is looking back, can't make a play on it. And then obviously he can't leave it too far out out here just because this, this safety can't make the throw and then just a dot like that that's just a dot come on man that's like that's really what i'm looking for in high school quarterbacks i'm not looking for like oh is this like the biggest guy i'm like what type of can you make high level throws how many high level throws are you making at the high school level Bro, homie, I mean, homie's cold. Like, I, I definitely, I definitely want to see what he's looking like. I, I would love to go to an Ohio State practice and to see what. Ooh, pull away from him, okay? I forgot he, he low key. See, a hey, this, this is gonna sound away, but if, if you guys think I'm racist, I, I'm, I'm half white, so y'all can't say nothing. But I, I really do be thinking people be sleeping on how fast some of these white quarterbacks be. Like, bro, 
I literally just got done watching Daniel Jones run 94 yards on the Washington football team, bro. I, I, I really do be think people be sleeping on how fast some of these white quarterbacks be. And again, if y'all think if y'all think I'm racist in some way for thinking that I'm half white, y'all can't say nothing. Well, yeah, my boy, my boy Quinn, he, he's got some wheels. I mean, he's definitely looking in that four six range. So, again, it's especially if, especially because to me, him and CJ Stroud have similar uh, athleticism uh, as far as just like mobility. But CJ Stroud, he looks like he looks scared to take off sometimes. Like it's like, bro, like you got some like wheels, bro. Like I've seen you in high school. Like take off on him. So if Quinn's able to do that, if he's able to go out there be more comfortable in the limelight and be able to make the throws as well as be able to get up out of the pocket and take off. I mean, hey, college football is a grinder, man. They, I don't care how good you were in high school. Like, they'll find a way. Like, and I don't give You can go back and look at my video. I'm raving on CJ Stroud. I'm like, bro, is he really the number one quarterback in the class? Like, he has great arm strength. But again, we'll see. Again, kid's only thrown two interceptions. He has seven touchdowns and two interceptions. 63% completion percentage so far this season. Like, he's not playing terribly. I'm just saying Ohio State has lofty standards. Ohio State, to me, is like, it's third in the list as far as lofty standards behind only Clemson and Alabama being two and one. All right, so that's just a little preview for my Buckeye fans who can't wait for Queen Eris to become QB1. A, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I want to believe, I want to buy into the hype too. I want to see him out on the field as early as possible, but I still do think, again, like I've been saying, I do want to see CJ Stroud as QB1 uh, again, unless he goes out there and loses two more games to like, like he can't, again, I don't know Ohio State's who they play, but if you can't lose to Michigan, you can't lose to Michigan State, you can't lose to Penn State. I mean, Penn State wouldn't be that bad of a loss to Penn State's actually decent, but like there's a couple of teams like you just can't be losing to, like you, you simply just can't be. So if, if, he, if he racks up a couple more losses, hey, Quinn Ewers is right there in the shadows waiting to take that QB1 spot. But I really want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from my Buckeye fans because I know I have a lot of Ohio State fans. Do you guys want to see Quinn Ewers as QB1 or do you guys still believe in CJ Stroud and you guys want to stick out and ride out with him? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I also probably put a poll out in the community tab, so be sure to check that out as well. Alrighty, y'all, but I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Also, comment down below. Like I said, who do you guys want to see as QB1? Also, any other video suggestions that you guys want me to do. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you never miss any of these fire videos. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.